Hey Ryan, it's Logan Stout at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, back here at our delivery inventory marketed towards uh, Louisville and Franklin markets. And here is that 2018 Challenger RT. And it fired right up and sounds great. We'll get you a, a listen to it here in just a second. Kind of behind the scenes of Perkins Motorplex, there's our uh, main reconditioning facility. We have another one over here behind this tree that you can't see. And if you were to look way over here, that American flag, that is where our lot is located here in Mayfield. And uh, yeah, this thing is beautiful and uh, in really good shape too. Walked around it a couple times, just point out a few things that I've seen. Uh, it's Goodyear tires and the tread on those is good. Obviously it's a lower profile tire, so it's not gonna be a real deep tread to begin with. I'm gonna put um, the tread somewhere around 80 to 90 percent on the back and i'm going to put them at like 50 percent on the front so a couple years of driving left before you have to do anything on these uh the backs are really really good all right wheels are all in pretty good shape on cars like this with some length to them we do see you know the wheels get uh some curb rash on them and stuff like that i believe one of them's got little bit of rub on it you can see down there at the bottom very minor really good shape otherwise gonna look down the uh, driver side here just for any dings and scratches always try to look right down the body line here you can hear that thing rumbling um, really good on this side across the hood no hail damage roof the same it's definitely got some pollen on it right now because it's that time of year in Western Kentucky. The front of it looks great. Got the fog lights way down low. We see that bottom part of these Challengers. A lot of times this piece right here really gets scraped up and this one's in great shape. All right, let's do the passenger side now. Forgive the shakiness of the video. Really good. No major dings and scratches to point out whatsoever. Uh, looks like we got one small ding right there about the size of a Let's say about the size of a dime right there And that's it body wise Really good shape the bumpers in really good shape Let's go uh, let's go to the interior a Little discoloring there on the back seat Looks like they worked on that a little bit. We could probably get a little more aggressive with this uh, and get that to come out. They try not to use anything real harsh on uh, fabric like that because they don't want to uh, make it worse, of course, but uh, probably go at that a little bit harder. Other than that, back seat's in great shape. This vehicle smells good. It doesn't smell like smoke or animal or anything like that. Very pleased with the shape on the inside as well. It does have the nice floor mats in it, factory floor mats. Of course, your USB ports and everything in there. I think there's one of the uh, air fresheners in there too. We normally don't do our own air fresheners, nor but we will leave them if, uh, if a previous owner had one in somewhere, like tucked away somewhere, we'll leave it uh, as, a, as opposed to trying to like mix and match and then you get like a a cocktail of uh, different scents and that's not what you want so i've noticed that they'll leave those in there and uh, our cleanup guys do a phenomenal job this thing is really really nice really responsive touchscreen here it does have the apple carplay of course android auto comes standard on the rt 2018s heated and vented seats you can run through all the different uh of course, you got navigation as well. Really responsive Uconnect system there. Steering wheel's in great shape. Very, very nice. And uh, now the fun part. Let's uh, let's give it some gas. Let you hear that. Awesome. 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 And I know the Hellcats and the uh, Scat Packs and all that. I know they're they're louder. But for, for the bang for your buck, I think those sound just as good. And uh, you're not having to pay as much, obviously. Kind of like what we talked about. Huge trunk space. 
really nice there. Let's give you a look underneath the hood as well to finish it out. And I always tell people I don't know an alternator from a radiator. So I'm not the guy that's going to be able to look through the hood, look underneath the hood and point out all these things I'm seeing. And, but I can. Uh, I have been trained a little bit how to just look through the windows that the engine bay will give you and look for excessive rust or corrosion or any, uh, any cause for concern like soot or mud or anything like that. This thing is way clean. All the connections look great all the way through there and it sounds really good under the hood. So you kind of want the rumble on the back side. Under the hood you want this nice and quiet. No knocking, no ticking. So that nice little purr and that's what you've got here. That Hemi is set. Really, really nice. Give you a quick look at the frame as well. If I can, if I can get that low. Go on my age a little. Great. Main frame line, very good. No excessive rust or corrosion there. And I love that the mileage is good enough on this and it's not the uh, over the top scat pack uh, or Hellcat setup. So it's still gonna qualify for one of our factory type total cares, which is clutch because it's not just the engine and transmission coverage. There's those Brembo brakes that we were talking about. Gives it a nice look too. But um, so it's not just the engine and transmission coverage that this qualifies for. It actually qualifies for the factory type version, which is a touch screen, backup camera, parking sensors, navigation, a lot of computer and electronic components like power windows, power locks, power seat motors, in addition to that engine and transmission coverage. And that's clutch. So our, our job is to always show you payment options both with and without that coverage and let you decide if that's something you want to work into the deal. But I'm a believer in it. I bought it three times and I'm not normally a warranty guy. So I love that part of it and uh, spell out those options for you too. What a nice car. I am a, I'm a huge fan.